hello, hello. I wanted to make, I'm a little sick. Got um, a sinus infection, which I don't know why I get those uh, a lot here in Mexico City. Never really, and I would say I'm in pretty good shape. Probably the best shape I've been in in three years, I want to say. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I'm getting, I think it's because of the height and the altitude of why I get it. But when I'm in warm climate, climates, I never, I rarely, rarely get sinus uh, infections. So, anyways, um, so anyways, just wanted to talk about uh, what this experience has been like. Um, I've been about. I want to say 14 days away from social medias and um, it's been very, I don't want to say hard, but it's just been different. Well, I mean, there's multiple things. I'm grateful that I get to do this. I'm grateful that I have a great business, stuff like that. And I'm grateful that, you know, I can actually do this. You know, some people have to be on social media. But, um, yeah, so let's talk about what my experience is like in general. So, you know, I, um, first I did a seven day, uh, fast from social media and I loved it. Like I just, like, it just gave me a new vitality to life. And, you know, um, it made me, honestly, it made me want to explore the world more and be more adventurous, which has been a blessing um, because there's, some, there's something weird that those, those apps do that they can get you into scarcity mode and they can get you into, I wanna say fight or flight, you know, comparing yourself, anxiety from, I don't know, dopamine tolerance, anxiety, um, and what I've noticed is I'm way happier than I usually am. This is like a, this is a hot take. So I'm probably not going to re record this, but <clears throat> it's been very different and very second, almost like a new life, you know, and I, I really, I want to keep it this way. Although technically I'm, I'm still active on a lot of social media stuff. But I'm only active if it like makes sense, if if it's uh if it's a valid relationship, valid friendship. And to be honest, most of the people that like I love, I have them texting. So I don't really care about the Facebook people as much. You know, I just I just don't care, honestly. Because um, you know, my life's great. So, like, I don't need a Facebook to validate anything for myself. And I've just really come to know that as of recently. It's like, there's so much to do when you don't do social media. <laughs> and it's crazy because, you know, I've done so many different things ever since I've just been off social media. And it's just like random shit that I never would have thought to do and stuff like that. So, um, you know, as you just, many of you know, I do have, a, um, I live in Mexico city and, um, I travel pretty much full time and I have been for three years. I think we're getting at three and a half at this point. I have to double check that. But, um, so yeah, we've been doing this for a while. And what I've noticed is I've made so many more connections with people just by not being on social media. And I think, and I've been like hot, way happier. So I'll give you a quick story. The first seven days, what we did is we said, okay, we're going to, uh, we're going to make sure that, that we record only Sorry, record. We're going to we're going to do life normal. For 7 days we're going to do life normal. We're going to see what are what is our real happiness level. So I have an entrepreneur coach. And what I realized is I was hovering from a 4 
to a six. So on average, I was probably a five, right? And at best, I was a six. So uh, five, I would say, is more like uh, it's like things are neutral. And then six is like things are good. They're not bad and they're not phenomenal, right? And then, uh, you know, you go higher. There's good, then very good, then I guess it would be amazing. I, I don't, I've never been a, a, a I've never been a, a nine happiness or 10, according to what I would call nine happiness and 10 happiness. So long story short, the first seven days I figured out, okay, I'm going from a four to a six on a daily basis. And I'm about probably a five. I'm average about five. What is a five? It's neutral. You know, life isn't great, but it's not like super fulfilling. And um, what I what I what I found out is most people, most entrepreneurs are around a four to a six. Same thing. And um, most of them live very like. Uh, <laughs> They live very boring lives because if you think about business, business is a very boring thing because it's like you're just doing boring shit for eight hours a day repeatedly more than anybody else, which makes you the best, right? But it's boring. It can be boring, right? Life is what you make it. But um, long story short is, you know, that's where entrepreneurs hang out and, you know, they hang out from four to six, you know, and they hover around five, uh, five for the most part. And that's what I noticed from the first seven days. Now, the second seven days, I stopped social media. And what I did was I, um, I stopped social media. So I stopped Facebook, Twitter. TikTok, everything, YouTube, like I don't even go on YouTube anymore. And um, what I noticed was I was just like, it was almost like a new life. And I was starting to be at like, I would rarely be, a, sorry, I would rarely be on a level of five. Uh, but I would, for the most part, I would, I probably my lowest would be a five. And my best would be seven, the second week. And that's only the second week. And so I noticed that basically taking taking social media away, it made me just like my uh, levels of, I want to say happiness, went up on average by one point, which is literally 10%. And people pay million dollars to make 10% gains, right? In anything they do. And it was such a social, uh, it was such a, uh, it was such a easy thing to do, but super hard, right? Like it's hard to cut out social media. Like it really is. So long story short, these, the next seven days, um, which was the first seven days where I cut social media out, um, I was w much happier. And it just felt like way, like, you know, I've made so many connections with different people and I've done new things and I've done a lot of things. So my level of happiness went up, which is really, really cool. So then, okay, so then fast forward. After those seven days, I'm talking with my coach. And I'm thinking, the whole time I'm thinking, yo, I'm just going to do this for the rest of, you know, for however long I need to do this, you know. And I'm going to figure out, okay, how can I make it happen to where I can uh, be online but not be online at the same time and not have it take my energy. Because I even notice if I stay on Facebook or social media for a couple hours, a week, I could feel my state drop. And it's noticeable, like it's super noticeable. So anyways, long story short is I really want to be on social media. So the goal for the next 14 days, which I'm on day nine is how can I 
thrive in business and not be on social media. And there's a couple things that it's going to take, you know, it's like having virtual assistants that are connected to all your social media accounts, having a person that does content for you, like ideas and stuff. And then, you know, and then, I'll, you know, the other stuff is very, that's just a little example, you know, like I, I use WhatsApp for my main business and pretty much, you know, we just, uh, you know, there's. We're starting even a newer business now, which is um, virtual assistant agency. And uh, so long story short is how do I stay, how do I build, keep everything building and stay on or stay off social media, which has been the hard part, right? Like it would like, cause it's so second nature to say, okay, oh, I'm talking to him, her there. Let me just go to a messenger. Let me just go to, um, let me check YouTube. YouTube is a very addicting place. Even if you're always learning, always learning. Or you always need to listen to something, you know. And I think we, a lot of us struggle with it. And maybe it's not a big deal for you, you know. Um, but I think it's powerful to get to understand what it actually feels like to do this. One day, if you can't, if you're grinding and you're early on in your business, this may not be a luxury that you could do, or maybe it is, you know, there's ways that you can hire virtual assistants, keep them connected to your social medias. You know, you can uh, hire people to, uh, you know, run your Facebook messenger too, if you want that as well for your personal uh, Facebook and your personal, you know, your business as well. So there's a lot of ways to do it. Um, but, um, you know, I pretty much have like my business is not like my main business is why I make, you know, I do YouTube for fun and courses for fun and all that stuff, you know, and um, it's not like a big money maker, even though, you know, I'm making six figures with it, uh, you know, or more a year. So it's not a big deal, though, like that doesn't compare to my real business like does it there's no comparison there so i already have teams that are already built out um my main business you know we got at this point we got over 20 virtual assistants i think we're approaching 25 people i have to figure out what that number is but you know there's ways that you can create systems if you really want it bad right you gotta want it if you don't want it, you'll probably just say, oh, yeah, but fucking it's not possible for me right now. But when I started doing this, I definitely thought, how the fuck am I going to do this successfully? And because I because what I did was I blocked all my social medias on my computer. And even like uh, I deleted all the apps on my phone. Uh, it's crazy because like I can't even log into some of them because I've been, I don't know, I forgot the passwords on like multiple, on multiple uh, social media. So like, I don't even care. So anyways, long story short is um, there's ways to do it. If you really want to do it, it's possible. But if you're just like somebody who's just thinking like, oh yeah, that's not possible, man. You know, if you really want to have more happiness in your life it's something to consider and um you know so yeah like i said it's something to consider i have everybody i love i text now and i call them the funny thing is now i call a lot now because i call people all the time <laughs> i never used never used to do that but now i just call people just to you know shoot the shit a lot more often than I have now. So it's crazy. Um, it's been a crazy experience. And um, like I said, the hardest part was like pretty much taking all the communications from Messenger and having a system for everything, even leads that are coming in so that the information gets to me. And through this whole 14 days, 
I've had to make it happen. Like I can't just, there's things that people are requesting that I could easily download Messenger and Facebook and get all that information quickly. But now I'm saying, okay, I'm gonna rely on my team. And this is actually a humongous lesson because this is what I did when I first started flipping DTS strips. It was like, I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna do anything. Like, I, I just wanna make decisions and, and um, you know, close deals from afar. I don't wanna do any lead generation. I don't wanna do customer service, none of that. So that's what I did. I said, you know, I'm going to challenge myself and going to close deals. I'm going to train them so they can close all the deals that they want and can handle. And that was the goal. And we've just been consistently doing that. So um, I'm thinking about just like making a guide on how to do it just like for free. Because it's so powerful for like even like business owners. It's just... It's literally a new world. Like, it's just feels like, and, and I swear I'm not trying to overhype this or anything, but this is just like authentically how I really feel about it all. And I've actually noticed a lot of celebrities do that too. If you think about it, celebrities say, hey, control the PR here. And um, they let like a PR, I guess like a PR marketing team control their, you know, their public image, right? So, in short, really, that's what you're doing is you're delegating that personal touch, maybe a lot of time that you waste and stuff to a team of people that will be the most efficient and um, tell you what you need when you really need whatever it is. You know, let's say someone messages you. So um, that's pretty much it, my friends. And uh, what's the long story? Long story here is, uh, I'll just tell you, the quick setup is I have WhatsApp and WhatsApp and text. So WhatsApp, Slack. <laughs> WhatsApp, Slack, and Monday. Those are the three apps that I use to pretty much manage everything. And then obviously, you know, I'm getting reports from people daily that, you know, I've been doing this for a while, so I know, like, I get daily reports from multiple managerial type uh, managerial type people in my organizations. And um, so we use WhatsApp, Slack, and Monday for now. Then I have people that help me with content, people that help me with content ideas, the reels that you see on my YouTube and my TikTok. Um, those are all, you know, though that content was made by, um, by a person I hired on Fiverr for very, very cheap, by the way. And, um, anyways, I don't know. I just feel like I'm just going to be such a super advocate with this thing because, you know, it's just been such like a, it, like, it really feels like life changing. You know, wow, you know, we're still thriving and hitting the best numbers possible and getting more clients, even though we're not on any of the social media, we're still staying in touch with our loved ones. And um, yeah, I just, I think it's going to be very pivotal, especially for business owners to almost force themselves to detach in a way so that they can preserve all their energy for their real life, right? And I just think that that's so important. I'm going to wrap this up. But it <coughs> I have a sinus infection. Anyways, long story short, I just think that's going to be so important for online business owners in the future to do this and not get caught up in all the social media and get the best results that they can, you know. So anyways, this isn't a perfect process. I'm really not copying anybody when I've done this. I don't, there's probably videos out there that show how to do it. Maybe you could uh, give me some pointers, more pointers, and who to follow that does this type of thing. But personally, um, <coughs> this has been super life changing. 
and I'm definitely going to make more uh, more content about this to show how powerful it is, you know, for somebody to get somebody to step away from their social media addiction, right? And partially their business too as well. So I just find that I'm learning so many lessons on how to like effectively actually lead people because I have to communicate with them and then get the results that I want. So it takes patience and problem solving on how to get all this stuff done. So anyways, hope you guys are doing well and uh, appreciate every single one of you guys for watching and um, all the nice people. <laughs> I appreciate you, all the meat people, you know, kick rocks. But that's part of the game. I understand that. So see you later, guys.